2008-2009, local health uh, needs assessment recognised that there was lots of inequity in the county, lots of things we weren't doing. Uh, commissioners sort of came, high cost service, lots of referrals to secondary care. Commissioners said, got together lots of stakeholders and said we need um, a diabetes pathway across the county. At that time, if you remember, we had um, sort of three or four PCTs across the county together as one big PCT. Suddenly, services were happening in the north that weren't in the south, services in the south that weren't in the north. Um, we somehow need to create a lot of equity across the county. Um, so, from that, Diabetes MPT was born. We had to um, look at mass recruitment. Um, We've got a handful of NHFT staff, so probably only about you know, four people, I think, we were at the time. And suddenly we've got to deliver a service across the whole county and get this wonderful pathway up and running. So mass recruitment. Um, from that, we've got some fabulous, fabulous people. We were able to be really enthusiastic about that and, and really encourage people to come. Um, from our big team meetings, we created our name, our strap line, which goes on all our emails and our correspondence and our information and our purpose which goes on um, our job description so it's very clear what we're about and what we do. I love my referral criteria and my equally um, three page long referral form. When we did that at the start I think that was about us as the junior team or novice team thinking what do we what do we do, what are we about, what do we do, what don't we do, what needs to go to secondary care that we can't do and it's not safe for us to do. We created that um, a couple of years ago some of my team members said this is too big, they can't read it, it's unwieldy, we need to do something else. Yes, please, get on and do it. You know, you know what's needed, you're working with people that are using these forms. So we're down to a one-page criteria and a one-page referral form. Um, so the MDTs, we've got dietitians, podiatrists, we've got a fabulous podiatry educator, that's a really innovative role. Um, she works across between podiatry and, um, and the diabetes MDT. She works with district nurses, practice nurses, she's just loads of education and nominated her for a one of the Pride Awards and everything, it's absolutely fabulous. Um, so, you know, really is about enabling people. So we work as a team, um, we have quarterly big team meetings, that's the whole team getting together. We've gone from those sort of four or five people, I can't remember what it was at the start, to a team of about 30 different people. Um, we get together quarterly, um, we uh, get lots of business and governance stuff to do, but I write that on the agenda, they get it in the minutes, they can read that any time they like. We have a shared drive, so a lot of that stuff's in the shared drive that they can refer to. Those meetings are kept for themed work, we get them to work together, we encourage them to talk with each other, come up with ideas, be innovative, what do we need to, what are the pressures we've got at the moment, what can we do about that. Um, out of some of that work, we recognised GPs were um, herding um, lots of um, routine type 2 insulin starts out of primary care and onto our service, where our service was actually about enabling them to do that work themselves. They were saying we're not doing it anymore. Patients at the end of this, we had to do something. Um, so we've started um, insulin group starts using, these are conversation maps by the way, so we use resources like this to have really interactive um, group sessions with patients. I've got a poster presentation on the back here, um, which was about that innovative practice. Um, Recognising talent in our team, this is our lovely Katie, Katie Hard. She was Katie Seal, you might have heard of, heard of her. Um, she's our senior band seven that leads the team down in the south of the county. Um, fabulous person, really skilled and talented. I nominated her for a Queen's Nursing Institute um, membership and, uh, and she was successful. Of course she was successful. She had so much fabulous feedback. Loads of group education um, because diabetes is huge, about 36,000 people with diabetes in the county. It's a huge, huge issue. Can't see everybody one to one. Group education is proven to um, work really well. People learn from each other. They interact with each other. The sessions are not stand up and lecture like I'm doing now. Um, they're very interactive. Lots of questions. Lots of resources. Um, and that people get you know a good two to four hours of education that way and, and make their own decisions at the end of it as opposed to a 10-15 minute appointment where you can't do anything else other than say this is what you need to do. So it's just a, it's a different way of working. We income generate because um, we recognise that um, social care, people with learning disabilities, um, so they can have um, a, you know lead a, a reasonably normal life and not be sitting there waiting for a district nurse to come and see them. Um, we do competency insulin 
in um, administration and competency blood glucose monitoring with them based on the trust zone competencies. So we know they're sort of robust quality um, you know, ways of doing it. Um, it generates a little bit of income which enables me to say to team, yes, you can go to the conference, Diabetes UK conference. We try and make sure people go, some people go to that every year. We paid for two members of our team to do the NUST and counselling course um, last year as well. I hope to send some people again this year from our income generation. If we add datixes or incidences or anything that's new in diabetes, we have a, um, a leak diabetes link and I do a news sheet and then send that out um, to communicate all that information. We've had team of the year, I think all those sort of encouragement bits and pats on the back really work well. I've nominated people for Pride Awards and things, so it's really encouraging the team and enabling the team. I think that's the big, you know, you know they're there doing the job, enabling them to make the decisions and um, yeah, decide what needs to happen, where we need to go. Change, change, change now because it is all going to be, it's going to be new. We've got federations, we've got to think differently again, but I'm confident the team can do that. Thank you.